Hi, Gidget. Hi, Gidget. Hi, Gidget. Oh, <laughs> Gidget. Hi, little Sandy. Hi. Hi. What? The Robertsons. Sprinklers. Looks like their sprinklers came on. Hey, Carly. Hey, what's going on? Oh, we're just getting ready to have supper. So, where, where'd you guys have supper at? Oh, we're going to eat here. Lisa's fixing it now, so we're just getting ready to eat. So, where'd you put the bobbles drawing at? It's uh, inside the door of the pantry over there. So, you guys going to frame it? I don't know. We might, but we've got it in there with a lot of other pictures, too. A lot of other drawings? Yep, very nice. There's Bobbles. There he is. Right there. Gidget was just here a minute ago on the front porch. So which one of Bobbles meows did that mean? I think that just means hello to Carly. He's been on the couch most of the afternoon. Now he'll get up. So Doug, have you been traveling lately? We went to San Diego this past week. So did you guys fly out of the Austin airport? We did. Did you know um, San Diego, California is home of the San Diego Zoo? We went there. So, so what, so, 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 um, so did you, um, so did you see any numbats? They didn't have any. Uh, they had a Tasmanian devil in the Australia section. Yes. We want to make sure Bobbles didn't get out here. So, and then what did, they do? They have any wombats? No. Do they have any um? Do they have any um um bilbies? Any bilbies or any sugar gliders? No. Um, they only had the Tasmanian devil, and then what they had was they had some pictures of the Tasmanian devil's, you know, family. Yes. And uh, in that family. In that picture was, was a picture of a numbat and a wombat, but they didn't actually have either of those at the zoo at that particular time. Was it in the family of Australian animals? Uh huh. So we looked, we were going to get you a picture, but they didn't have one, so I'm sorry. So, what other animals? Do they, do they have any giraffes? They did. They had lots of animals. Pretty much, I don't want to say everything, but they had a lot. Do they have any hippos? Yeah. Hippos, rhinoceroses. Uh, Did they have any um, zebras? I, yeah, we didn't see any, but we didn't get through the whole zoo in the afternoon we were there. We just saw parts of it, but we didn't see all of it. So, what else did you guys see? Did you see any? Um, did you see any um, b baboons? We saw some monkeys. We saw some big ones. We did see some baboons, as a matter of fact. Did you see any orangutans? No. Did you see any um, apes? Yeah. And we saw some panda bears. They were cute. Those were in the Australian section as well. Do they have any um, kangaroos? We didn't see them. But 
once again, we didn't go through the whole zoo, so I'm sure there were animals there that we didn't get around to see. So do they have any endanger, any endangered animals? They mentioned several were endangered. Yeah. So did they have any, um, um, did they have any, um, opossums? I didn't see any. They had some little, uh, what they call them, muskrats? Meerkats. Meerkats? They had some meerkats. They were cute. So did they have an aquarium there too? Uh, we didn't go in the aquarium, but there is one there. Yeah. There's a lot to see, and we were just there for one afternoon, so we didn't see everything. You could probably spend another two or three days there by the time you actually saw everything. So do you have a favorite animal that you saw there? I like the little koala bears. Do they have koalas there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of like them, kind of like Fluffy McTuffy. <laughs> that when it comes to, to BBC villains, besides the number taker. <laughs> yeah, they had, there were probably five or six in the trees there just hanging out. They were cute, cute little things. Did, so, did you know, um, so, um, so you don't even know who Fluffy McTuffy is, right? No. It's a it's it's a villain when it comes to British when it comes to BBC villains, besides the Number Taker and Octo Naughty, okay. and Spooky Spoon, the Problem Blob, the Puzzler, even the the Shape Japer. Okay. So basically, it's mainly when I think of when I think of base mainly when I think of. Um, CBB's villains. That's basically what I think of when I think of villains from that network. When I think of when I think of Nick Jr. villains, I think of Sid Fishy, Miss Marmalady, Mayor Humdinger. You know who that is? No. Mm. And there's also um, Sweetie and what's another one? And Batty, Batty from Top Wing. And there's also Zeta, Zeta. Um, so I, I think those are all the, I think those are all the villains I can think of. So, so when you think of, when I think of Discovery Family villains, I think of, I think of Nightmare Moon and I think of Queen Chrysalis. Okay. When I think of Cartoon Boomerang and Cartoon Network villains, the only villains that I can think of, the only villains that I know are the... Are, have you ever heard of have you have you ever heard of um, these villains um, from a I think it's some villains from a from a show on I think it was a show that actually was on Boomerang and Cartoon Network and it, ha and it had these villains it had um it had it was a it was um, um it was a boy a girl and and a talking cat <laughs> oh wow and so okay so. So, um, have you heard of the villains Team Rocket? Do you know who that is? I do not. Never heard of them? No. I heard about them when I was in elementary school. Oh, okay. A blast from the past when I lived in Central Texas. Okay. So, so um, have you ever seen a TV show that actually had a guy with his eyes closed? No. I can't recall one. I... I, I I know a, I know a guy from a TV show with his eyes closed named Brock. Okay. So do you know? So does the name Brock sound familiar? I've heard that name before, but seems like it was from a TV show, but I don't um, remember which I, one it was. I think it was a I think it was a show on on, on Boomerang and Cartoon Network. Okay. So, when I think of, when I think of Disney, like when I think of Disney villains, I think of Ursula from The Little Mermaid, right? Mm -hmm. And I think of the villains, um, I think of the, I think of Luna Girl, Night Ninja, the Ninjalinos, and Romeo. Have you ever wondered who Night Ninja is? Heard of him? I have not. I've heard of him. I heard of him. I heard about him when I was 11 years old. <laughs> I heard about him. I think I first heard about about Romeo, Night Ninja, the Ninjalinos, and Luna Girl. And Luna Girl actually from from a show 
for, 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 from a Disney cartoon. Okay. So when you think of Disney villains, who do you think of? Besides Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Oh, there was this villain. Was it Gaston? No, it's that show, you know, where Muttley the dog is in it. Um, what, what, which one of the Disney channels was it on? Oh gosh, it's been years ago, Carly. Well, was, it, was it Disney Channel? I haven't watched it recently, so I couldn't tell you. I, no, it was just one of the regular TV stations back in the day, but Dick Dastardly, that's who it was. Yes. Yeah. So he had this dog, this mutt named Muttley. So. so have you ever um so 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 did you know there actually did you know there actually was a show on um Disney Channel when I was um when I was in um sixth grade when I was um when I was in sixth grade there actually was a show on Disney Channel and and the um and and apparently that was that actually was where the the, the new the new Pipsqueak Willets design was fully developed she appeared when when it was actually when her 2016 look was fully developed okay so so her so her 2000 so her so apparently so have you ever wondered who pipsqueak willets pipsqueak willets is i've heard you mention the name before her right yeah and she and she ha and she has a little sister and she has a she has a little sister named moon dancer who likes alpha blocks uh-huh who likes who likes Alpha Block L? And there actually was a time, actually where um, where um, which I think were Moon Dancer. Um, trying to think what she did. What, what there actually has been a there was a time there has been some times where Moon Dancer and her older brother, and her older brother, and 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 her older brother and her brother Scampy apparently hid. There have been some times where they hid in. Hid in a stall, in a stall, hid in a stall, in a stall, in the girls' restroom out in public. Hmm. So they did it. The year, so they did it in 2013, 2015, 2016, 2017. I mean, so they did it in 2013, 2015, 2016, 2018, and 2019 so far. Okay. So, so they only did they only um, they only did it once in East Texas. Okay. So, what are some things that you actually know about Pipsqueak Willets? Oh, I've heard you talk about Pipsqueak before. Yes. Um. So, 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 did you know? Did you know she's act so? So did you know that Pipsqueak Willets actually is a fan of um of um did you know Pipsqueak Willets actually is a grown up fan of um of uh, of um of a company that young people like? No, I didn't know that. Um she actually um she actually apparently happens to be like a she's actually a she's actually like she's a high school fan. Mm -hmm. She's actually a she's actually um she's actually a grown up she's actually a teenage fan of, of theirs and um, she apparently and, and she actually so she actually has been a fan of this company um, when it um, of this company that was founded in 1994 okay. so did, so did you know next year in 2024 is going to be the 30th anniversary oh wow can you believe it's been that long that's a long time and it's also going to be the 30th anniversary of the company Spin Master next year. Okay. So, Doug, did you know this year in 2023 is the 35th anniversary of Nick Jr.? How about that? Yep, it's the 35th anniversary. Okay. That's pretty cool. Did you know Nick Jr. launched in the year my third period teacher, Miss Finn Zant, was born? Oh, wow. So, what year were you born, Doug? 1958.